Hey, what the hell is Sleepy Joe doing here? Donald, come on, man. Come on, nothing, Joe. This is my Taco Bell. You know it, I know it. All these people know it, Joe. I know you don't even eat here. Believe me, this is a great location. A lot of people come here, and you're not one of them, Joe. Folks, I'm here because as your president and a lover of Taco Bell, I support the D.C. fast food life. Donald Trump, Donald Trump knew I would be here and his Republican buddies told him to hound me. He thinks he's slick. This is all a stunt, folks, a stunt. Wrong. So wrong. I come here like four times a week, Joe. I usually go to Wendy's on Wednesday, but today I wanted a chalupa, a chalupa. So I came here. And who do I see? Sleepy Joe and my favorite Taco Bell. Come on, man. You don't own this Taco Bell. Just like you didn't own me in the 2020 election. You stole that election, Joe. Many people have said that the votes were not counted. Not a few, but a lot of them. A whole lot. Tons. You had a few, but not all those votes. Where did those votes come from, Joe? The big lie, the big lie. That's all you talk about, man. Joe, you are one of the biggest liars in American history. Bigger than Bush, probably. Didn't you vote to go to war in Iraq, Joe? Where were the WMDs, Joe? I'm not Bush, Donald. Stop trying. Stop trying to divide us over the mistakes of the past. Aren't you pals with Putin? Another stable genius, huh? Look, it's not my fault you and nasty woman Hillary made bad deals with Russia in the past, which created a situation with Putin now. I don't talk to Putin. I could, but I don't. And Joe, what about the big guy? Where's that 10% for the big guy, Joe? Are you going to give the big guy 10% of your Crunchwrap Supreme, Joe? Folks, he's insane. Just insane. I would never give 10% of my Crunchwrap Supreme to anybody. And the only big guy in here is you, Donald. Joe, you are the worst president in our country's history. You know it and I know it. Can I order my food now, Donald? Can I please, can I please get my food and go? Unlike you, I have a country to run. Go ahead, Joe. Order your food. Now that I can talk to someone sensible, can I please get a McChicken? And- a McChicken? Look at this guy. Can you believe this guy? We're in Taco Bell, Joe. While you're at it, Joe, how about you order deep dish pizza and boba? How about that, Joe? Do you want those two? Donald, can you shut the hell up, man? That's it, Joe. You're in big trouble with me. Really big. Outside now. One-on-one. No Look secret here, Jack. service. If you want to throw down like I did back in the day with Big Town Tommy and little Jimmy Sanders in the old parking lot near Mr. Hooper's malt shop, just say it. I'll whip you around quicker than a yellow-bellied toad playing hopscotch with a blue warbler on a lily pad. I don't even know how to respond to that. Donald, you can either waste my time or we can just do this. Take your pick, man. It's not that hard. Joe, you're probably the worst fighter around. I'm bigger and faster than you. Believe me, many people have said it. Your punch is probably a really slow slap. I punch like Iron Fist. Do you even know who that is, Joe? Tell me who that is right now. He's from the Matrix movies with Keanu and Jack Black. Oh, my God, Joe. You don't know what you're saying. You are really, really bad at whatever you do. You can't even name the right movies. I know a lot of films, pal. I have over 70 years of movie knowledge. What's your favorite kung fu movie, Joe? I bet you can't tell me one. Believe me, you're really going to get this one wrong. Bring it on. That isn't even a martial arts movie, Joe. Folks, let's get down to the simple math here. Donald Trump doesn't know about kung fu either. The only association he has with kung fu is the Chinese restaurant he eats at. That's it, at Joe. Like You're really asking week. for it. Let's step outside. Pal, if I step outside with you, you'll end up going back to Florida crying like a big fat orange baby. We'll see about that, Joe. We'll really see. Let's go, Sleepy Joe. Five minutes later. You are definitely going to lose this. Oh, yeah, right, Joe. You have no idea what's coming. You are probably going to forget halfway through the fight while you're even fighting me and just wander away. All right, gentlemen, I want a nice, clean fight. One round, first knockout wins. Mr. President, are you ready? Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Special referee Daisy Ridley. And what about you, former President Trump? Are you ready? I am very ready, Miss Ridley. It's just Mr. President, by the way. But yeah, I am ready. Really ready. I've been so ready that many people have said that I can't be any more ready. Ring the bell. Ah, damn you, Donald. That was right in the clavicle. I fight to win, Joe. Just ask your friend Hillary. Big loser, by the way. Really big. Here comes the North Scranton Sidewinder, uppercut 5,000. Ring! Oh my God, what have I done? Well, for starters, you're disqualified. And secondly, you managed to knock out that old woman standing behind Mr. Trump. Joe, you're so bad at this. How the hell do you stumble past me and hit that lady like 10 feet away? It was an accident, Donald. My special move was meant for you. Special move? That was your special move? What do you call that one again, Joe? That was the Scranton 14th Hammer Time Liberty Punch. 
Well, whatever it was, Mr. President, you lost. This fight ends with a no contest. So does that mean I win, Daisy? I mean, a lot of people are saying I did, but we should hear it from you. No, I'm afraid not, Mr. Former President. It's a draw. Damn it. God damn it, Joe. Why do you have to be so clumsy? Well, like my uncle used to tell me, a clumsy man is a man who wears his pants too tight and his glasses too loose on a hot, muggy day in Atlanta. Do you want to just get some tacos, Joe? Yeah, I could go for a gordita right now with a tall glass of curdled Wisconsin milk straight from the old Miller dairy farm outside of Racine. I worked there once, you know. Sure, whatever, Joe. I still hate you, but let's go eat.